Hello guys, today I am going to show you how to make a hard style solid using Xenad Sub FX. Your solid will sound like this. First you will need to load up Xenad Sub FX. I have a copy already loaded here. Rename it to whatever you would like and link it to a FX channel. Then link that FX channel to a main channel for your leads. You can link the leads to a side chain if you want. While sound designing I like to put the melody on a loop so that I can hear the sound change as I edit it. Turn the volume up a little. Next, go into add synth and turn up the cue very slightly. Make the filter envelope start at maximum and then go down, this will make a plucky sound when the filter frequency is turned down. Now we need to edit the waveforms. Click show voice parameters and choose the power wave, add harmonics, with each harmonic getting slightly less each time. Then increase the unison to about 20 to 30 and turn up the detuning to about 110. Now turn on the second oscillator and turn that to a power wave also. Turn the first harmonic up all the way and the second up slightly. Turn the frequency to minus 1 octaves, set the unison to between 20 and 30 and turn the frequency spread all the way up. Now select the third oscillator, turn it to power wave. Turn the first and second harmonics all the way up. Then make each harmonic slightly less than the one before. Turn the unison to between 20 and 30 and the detuning all the way up, and the frequency to minus 35 set. Now turn on the 4th oscillator. Select use a sill and select EXT3. Then copy the same settings as the 3rd oscillator but with the frequency at plus 35 cents instead. Now we need to add effects. Reverb and echo make the lead stand out more and sound better. Next go to control set the portamento threshold to 1 and reduce the time. This makes the lead have a slight punch to it. Now we are done with Xenad Sub FX. Go to the FX mixer and click on the channel your lead is linked to.
Add an EQ. Any EQ will work, and use it to remove all the frequencies up to about 100 Hz. This is so it will not interfere with the kick. Then add a compressor to compress the lead. Now add an automation track to automate the filter and portamento. This allows us to control whether the sound is plucky or not. Now we are done. They'll sound like this. In a real track there would be other leads stacked on top of this one. Maybe I will make a tutorial on how to do that in the future. <laughs>